Hi guys, in this quick video we're going back to basics. I'm going to be showing you how to configure an incoming call distribution group or an ICD group and how you can make it ring on a PSTN trunk or an ISDN trunk or a VoIP trunk. So smash that like button and let's get started. So in this scenario I'll be assuming you already have your login credentials, IP address and you have your trunk set up ready to go. So let's log in. So at this stage just have a list of extension numbers ready so you can add whoever you want to ring in the group and whoever you don't want to ring you can set them to no ring which I'll show you what I mean later on in the video. On the left hand side you go to 351 or group incoming core distribution group and then group settings. So when it eventually loads, you can see that I've already have some groups set up and I've just covered up the names. So this particular system has all the groups in the 6000 range. By default, the system is in the 600 range, but if you make it four digits, then it'll be in the 6000 range. So I'll go down the bottom to the new area. So if I just make up a group number, in this case, I'll make it 6090. And for YouTube video sakes, I'll call the group YouTube videos or YouTube calls, which will make more sense. So you hit apply or you can hit OK and that'll save the video. Then up the top, you go to members list. And this is where you add extension numbers into that new group you've just made. So let's assume your extension list starts with 101. So we'll just type in 101, 102, 103, 104, and then on the right hand side you'll see the delayed ring column. So this is where you can make the handset ring either immediately on a two ring delay, four ring delay, and let's say we want extension 104 to have no ring. And we can also add a fifth extension, 105, and we can have that ring in immediately. So we don't have to have all the extensions in order, we can have them all over the place with whatever parameters you want. No ring delay means the phone will just flash on the line key. They have to pick up the phone and press the flashing key to enter the phone, but it's not going to make an audio sound. So there's no ringing like there is with the other handsets. So just so you know, one ring delay is about five seconds in the Panasonic world of ring. And now that you've done that, on the left hand side you go to 10, see your incoming calls. Depending on if you've got the, your trunk set up in DIL or DID, you go to the respective ones. I'll put up a little cheat sheet um, as to what these acronyms mean, just to make it easier for you guys. But if you've got your trunk set to DIL, which is most likely PSTN trunks, you just go into here and in the DIL um, day mode column you put the right group in there, 6090. Once you've done that, then you can click OK and you're done. Otherwise, go to the DID table if you've got ISDN or SIP trunks in DID mode and you pick a DID. So let's just go with this one. And in there, I'll just label it YouTube Calls. You don't have to label it the same thing you called the ICD group, I've just labeled it the same thing. You, once you've put the ICD group number in there, 6090, in all the columns, if you want them to be in all the modes. I usually fill up all the modes just in case the system gets accidentally put into a mode we're not using, and at least the calls will go somewhere all the time, just in case you're wondering. So once you've done this, hit the apply or OK button and send a call to the group. So call that direct, direct in dial or the PSTN line number. Also, a quick tip. Just pay attention to what you're doing. Unlike me, I put the wrong extension in there, which I just fixed up to the right extension, which was 6090. All right, now that you're done, hit the OK button, and then up the top, hit the floppy disk to save the running config, just in case there's a power outage. Otherwise, it'll lose all your programming. So just back that up. And done, almost. A 
Wow. Okay, done. Then hit the exit to log out. Always remember to log out, guys. Otherwise, if you have an admin account, you won't be able to log back in until it times out, which will be painful. So, just remember to log out all the time. Alright, hopefully you've learnt something and I brought some value to you. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and make sure you subscribe so you can be notified for my future videos. Thank you for watching and good luck!